Hello, today we'll be talking about Pidgey, the first bird Pokemon, the first normal type Pokemon, and the first normal flying type Pokemon. Its past PYC dates are March 13th, 1996, January 2nd, 1999, October 23rd, 2001, August 13th, 2004, June 4th, 2007, March 25th, 2010, January 13th, 2013, November 4th, 2015, August 25th, 2018, and June 15th, 2021. I don't have much to say about Pidgey, it's a pretty basic bird. Let's get into the Bulbapedia article. Hello, and uh, welcome to the Bulbapedia section of the video. Uh, we are talking about Pidgey, the tiny bird Pokemon. It is 0016. This is what it looks like. It is a normal flying, which means it has this sort of border around all these sections. Uh, it is sort of gray and blue border here. Its abilities are uh, Keen Eye or Tangle Feet uh, from Gen 4 Plus. Um, its hidden ability uh, is Big Pex. Gen ratio is 50-50. Its catch rate is 255, or 43.9%. Its breeding, uh, egg group is flying. Its hatch time is 15 cycles. Its height is, uh, 1 foot, uh, or 0.3 meters. Its weight is 4, uh, pounds. It's, uh, 1.8 kilograms. Its base experience yield is 55 in the first four gens, and 50 in 5 plus. A leveling rate is medium slow. EV yield is 1 in speed. Its shape is this. Footprint is that. Its Pokedex color is brown. Its base friendship is 70. Pidgey is a dual-type normal flying Pokemon introduced in Gen 1. It evolves into Pidgeotto, uh, starting at, uh, level 18, which evolves into Pidgeot, starting at level 36. Biology. Pidgey is a small, plump, bodied avian Pokemon. It is primarily brown with a cream-colored face, underside, and flight feathers. On the top of its head is a short crest of three tufts. The center crest, feathers are brown, and the outer two tufts are cream-colored. Just under its crest are its narrow eyes, which have white sclera and pupil along with its black irises. Angular black markings extend from behind its eyes and continue down its cheeks. It has a short stubby beak and feet with two toes uh, in front and one in the back. Both its beak and feet are grayish pink. It has a short brown tail made of three feathers. Pidgey has an extremely sharp sense of direction and homing instincts. It can travel back uh, to its nest, regardless of how far away they may have flown. Uh, it has a docile Pokemon, uh, and generally prefers, uh, to flee from its enemies rather than fight them. By flapping its wings rapidly, it can whip up dust clouds and create whirlwinds to protect itself and flush out potential prey. Pitchy is very common throughout the range and can often be seen in meadows and temperate forests. Ekans and Sneasel are natural predators of Pitchy. Pitchy preys on Dot. In Gen 3, Fe Feather Dance was its signature move, but other Pokemon could still inherit it by a breeding. Evolution Pitchy evolves into Pidgeotto, which evolves into Pidgeot. You can see that here. Um, in the anime, you can see it there. Duh. For the Pokedex entries, we got episode 1, Pidgey and Ash's Pokedex. Pidgey is a flying Pokemon. Among all the flying Pokemon, it is the gentlest and easiest to capture. A perfect target for beginner Pokemon trainer to test his Pokemon skills. The same episode, Pidgey's attacks, the same Pokedex. Pidgey's Gust. Power creates tornadoes. It also has a sand attack. In, uh, JN, uh, 0... 20, my guess, Journeys. Still don't really know, though. Pidgey and Go's Rotom Phone. Pidgey, the tiny bird Pokemon. A f normal f and flying type. Pidgey usually don't like to battle, but it won't hesitate to attack if provoked. It's in Origins. It's in, uh, that's it in Generations. Um, yep. In the manga. TCG. Other appearances, Super Smash Bros. Multiple Pidgey appear in the background of the so Saffron City stage. In Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Pidgey returns in the Saffron City stage. It also appears as a spirit. The game data, NPC appearances, Pokemon, Mystery Dungeon, Explorers of Time, and Explorers of Darkness, uh, Pidgey and CDOT are the members of C Team CG. That's very interesting since it preys on CDOT. Uh, Pokedex entries, red and blue, uh, common sight in forests and woods. It flaps its wing at wings at ground level to kick up blinding sand. Yellow, very docile. If attacked, it will often kick up sand to protect itself rather than fight back. Stadium, if at all possible. It will try to avoid battles. Smaller or weak enemies are blown away by whirlwind. In Gen 2, gold, it usually hides in tall grass. Because it dislikes fighting, it protects itself by kicking up sand. Silver, common in grassy areas and forests. It is very docile and will chase off enemies by flapping up sand. Crystal. It rapidly flaps its wings in the grass, stirring up a dust cloud that drives insect prey out. No. 
on, until the open. Stadium 2 is just gold again. For Gen 3, Pidgey has an extremely sharp sense of direction. It is capable of unerringly returning home to its nest. However far it may be removed from its familiar surroundings. Emerald. It has an extremely sharp sense of direction. It can unerringly return home to its nest. However far it may be removed from its familiar surroundings. Fire Red. Uh, does not like to fight. Hide, hides in tall grass and so on. Forging for food such as ball bugs. Leaf Green is just red and blue again. Diamond Pearl Platinum. It is docile and prefers to avoid conflict. If disturbed, however, it can ferociously strike back. Okay, so for Gen 5, those are all uh, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. Y is just red, blue, and leaf green again. Y is Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, and Gen 5's Pokedexes. Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire are Ruby and Sapphire. Gen 7's, uh, they are yellow. Um, Gen 8's Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. They're the Brilliant Diamond and Pearl counterpart. Okay, uh, game locations. Side game locations. Okay, held items. Pokemon Cotton Generation 1 uh, must be traded uh, to a Gen 2 game in order for a held item to appear. Stats, base stats are 40 for HP, attack is 50, 45, uh, defense is 40, special attack is 35, special defense is 35, speed is 56. Its total is 251. These are its Pokéthon stats. For type effectiveness, uh, damage normally by normal, fighting, flying, poison, steel, fi fire, uh, water, psychic, uh, dragon, dark, and fairy. It is weak to uh, rock, electric, and ice for double. It is immune to ground and ghost. It is resistant to bug and grass for half. Notes, if this Pokemon is given a ring target, the effectiveness of ghost type moves is uh, one, so it goes from zero to one. Uh, if gravity is an effect, this Pokemon is given uh, a, an iron ball or a ring target, or it is affected by smackdown or ingrain, the effectiveness of ground type moves is one. So it goes again, zero to one. By level up, you've got uh, one tackle, uh, five sand attack, nine gust, 13 quick attack, 17 whirlwind, 21 twister, 25 feather dance, 29 agility, 33 wing attack, 37 roost, 41 tailwind, 45 aerial ace, and 40, 49 air slash, and 53 hurricane. By TM, uh, you've got uh, 10 uh, work up, 11 sunny day, 17 Protect, 18, Rain Dance, 32, Double Team, 40, Aerial Ace, uh, 42, uh, Facade, 44, Rest, 45, Attract, 46, Thief, 47, Steel Wing, 51, Roost, 58, Endure, uh, 82, uh, Sleep Talk, 87, Swagger, 88, Pluck, 89, U-Turn, 90, Substitute, 94, Fly, and 97, Defog. Breeding, so if you breed all these, you get Air Clutter, uh, breed all these, you get Air Slash, Read any of these, you get Brave Bird, any of these, Outroar, Light Tutoring, uh, but, yeah, that's nothing. Uh, TCG only moves, you got Growl, Fury Swipe, Swipes, and Peck. For some reason, Pity doesn't have Peck. That is shocking. Uh, okay. But yeah, you got all these in these cards. Anime only moves, which, you got Peck again, but that's, I don't know, can't each other. I guess these are, like, moves that aren't in the games, you know, but only is a misleading, uh, in this case, but it was Peck, uh, Love, Toad Lyle style, and carrying on. Uh, here's the side game data. Okay, so, Pokemon Ranger Guardian signs. It launches Twisters. Okay. Uh, yeah, got all this. Evolution data again. Okay, so, Sprites. This is one of the most different Sprites of all of Pokemon, I think. Yeah, you can see how different these two are to yellow. Um, just, yeah, how... It looks like, you know, an actual bird, but then now it looks like a distinct Pokemon creature, you know. Um, so then, yeah, it just kind of redefines again, kind of defines it in gold. And now you've got sort of this brown versus uh, this yellow. Um, yeah. Uh, yep. And then in Gen 3, it's sort of a lighter brown, more defined, a pidgey features like the coloring. Um, and then now that more more yellow um yep going Gen four you know even more pidgey like i guess uh now it becomes kind of a greenish yellow um yep kind of stays the same more or less Took the model obviously uh and then yeah and then now you got, you got the let's goes and then home uh according to pokemon red and blue beta 
Uh, Pidgey was originally going to be named Pidge. Pidgey shares its category with Sparrow, Natu, and Rookity. Uh, they are known as the Tiny Bird Pokemon, although Natu has also been called the Little Bird Pokemon. Pidgey is the only Pokemon with a base stat of 251. In the anime, Pidgey is often erroneously depicted with four talons on each foot as opposed to three. Pidgey has the shortest cry of any Pokemon only being 0 0.181 seconds long. Wow. Origin, despite its name, Pidgey is more closely resembles various passerine birds, especially female house sparrow, uh, than it does as pigeon. However, there have been uh, references uh, in the anime to Pidgey male, which is an allusion to homing pigeons. Uh, the black markings around its eyes are reminiscent of Ra and Horus, uh, the sun and sky gods in Egyptian mythology who were depicted uh, with the heads of falcons. Name origin, Pidgey may be a corruption of Pigeon or a combination of Budgy, Chickadee, and Pudgy, a small and plump Popple, uh, may be derived from Popo, ominopoetic sound of Pigeon's coo. Uh, then other languages. Got all that. Yeah. Uh, uh, move it on. That was interesting. Let's see Pidgey's first scene in the anime. Hello and welcome to the anime portion of the video. We are watching episode one, uh, Pokemon I Choose You, again. Uh, we are watching part of the video uh, that got cut from, I think, the Bulbasaur video, maybe even the Charmander video. Uh, here we are using a Pidgey, uh, that not really a real Pidgey. It's a, uh, it's like, it's on a clock, so it's like a cuckoo clock kind of thing, you know, it pops out of the thing. Anyway, but I'm counting it anyway, since it looks like a Pidgey. Uh, anyway, let's, let's get going. Yeah. Pokemon Master! Yeah, so that's... That is what I'm... So that's Ash Ketchum, um, as his mom has just yelled at uh, him. Um, uh, he, yeah, he's the main character. Uh, yeah, and he's about to start his Pokemon journey. Um, yep. To bed! <laughs> And then you see the Pidgey it's 11 o'clock, and clock. you should be asleep. But tomorrow I begin my Pokemon journey. I can't sleep. Well, if you can't sleep, you should at least get ready for tomorrow. Here, watch this. Okay, that's where we're gonna stop, since that's where we started, I think, the Charmander video. So, uh, yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed, technically, Pidgey's first appearance in the anime. Uh, yeah, let's move on. Let's see why people love Pidgey. Let's look at the fan art! Hello, uh, welcome to the fan art section of the video. Um, nobody sent in fan art, so today, instead, we're gonna be looking at deviant art here. Uh, so for those of you who don't know how this works, uh, what we do is we go through these images until we find a Pidgey, or an image without a Pidgey. This first one's called, uh, Pokemon Common Birds, so you got a bunch of birds here, so there's the Pidgey in the middle, and Hoodoot. Starly, Sparrow, Pidov, and Taylo here. Okay, so here we got another, uh, an image called, uh, Pokemon Birds Rubicon, uh, Village. So this cool looking art here. A little bit more stylized, a little bigger on the, on the brows there, uh, with Pidgey, but, yeah. Then we got, of course, Hoot Hoot, Taylo, Pida. It's the same, no, it's not. This is a different one. Uh, yeah, so that's Pidov, Starly, uh, Taylo, and, uh, Fletchling. Then we've got Birds by... Uh, Huiro. So, you know, you got your Pidgey there. Uh, Taylo. Starly. Uh, Chatot. Uh, Rufflet. Uh, Murkrow. Pidove. Picky Peck. Fletchling. Nadu. Spiro. Swablu. Vullaby. And, uh, Wingle. Yeah. This, yeah, very cute design here. Oh, yeah. Then we've got Pidgey. Pidgeotto. Pidgeot. By... Uh, Dante Cyberman, so you can see, you know, Pidgey on the bottom here, then it turns in, you know, then it's Pidgeotto, then it's Pidgeot, you know, how cool this is, kind of a semi-realistic, or maybe more, more like, a, like a painting of what it would look like if it were realistic, yeah. Um, then we've got, uh, Pidgey, Pidgeotto, Pidgeot by Mr. Red Butcher, so you got, you know, the, the, the little, uh, Pidgeot, or Pidgey here, and then the Pidgeotto, then the big Pidgeot. Um... Then this is not a Pidgey, uh, and so that's it. Bye! Thanks to everyone who submitted fan art. I won't be streaming tonight as I need to talk about Radada before I can catch a Pidgey. Tomorrow I'll be talking about Pidgeotto. Uh, as always, this isn't my proper outfit and you'll see me tomorrow.